Annyeonghaseyo! I think ang pinakauna pong dapat gawin when you arrive in Seoul is to buy a local SIM card o kaya naman po mag-rent ng egg wifi. If your main concern is the price, much cheaper po ang pocket wifi. However, hassle lang na meron ka pang dalawang device na kailangan laging dala. And another thing, kapag aalis ka na, kailangan mo na siyang isole sa departure lobby so hindi mo na magagamit yung phone mo. Hanggang doon sa time na makapag-board ka. But whether you prefer an egg wifi or a SIM card, ito po, tingnan niyo po yung guide natin kung saan siya ikiklaim. You can proceed to the arrival lobby and look for the telecom counters. But first, make sure that your phone is not locked. Kung lock po ang phone nyo sa isang telecompany, then you might not be able to use the SIM card when you arrive in Korea. If that's the case, then pwede po tayong mag-pocket Wi-Fi or ang tawag nila ay ang egg Wi-Fi. You have the option of buying the prepaid SIM or renting the egg Wi-Fi upon arrival in Incheon International Airport. You just have to look for the telecom counter. If you're having a hard time finding it, marami pong information desk that you can ask in English. Another option that I found very convenient is ordering your prepaid SIM or your Wi-Fi rental via Klook. It's a travel app, which you can download on your phone. It's very easy to use. You can simply download the app on your phone and very useful it all when you travel. All you need about traveling is already found here in Klook. Good thing pa is mas mura pa siya because discounted. Siguro they um, get it by bulk so they can give it to you at a discounted price. You have an option to get the data only or yung merong text messages and call. We opted to get the data only, no calls, but you can receive messages and calls for free. So if you're meeting a friend in Korea, just give your number and he or she will be able to contact you. It's roughly 220 per day. The longer the number of days, mas mura pa siya. You can always check the website of the telephone company to check the instructions where to pick up the SIM and to know the applicable charges. Mas mura pa rin yung cloak ng konte and minsan meron silang mga promotional items. So meron silang mga binibigay din na freebies. And madali lang gumamit ng cloak kasi lahat naman ng instructions na doon, may map din doon saan ipipick up and then yung mga conditions sa paggamit ng SIM card nandun din. So insert mo lang yung SIM card mo on and off and then presto, meron ka na ang data. Wow! With data on your mobile phone, you can now proceed to the train station or bus stop or kung saan ka man pupunta using the Naver app. Ito yung Google Map na ginagamit sa Korea. Hindi masyadong efficient or hindi ganong nag-work ang Google Map. So, when you're in Korea, you either use Naver or Kakao Map. Make sure you have these apps downloaded on your phone. Next thing to buy is the T-Money Card. Ito naman po yung transportation money card na magagamit natin sa public transportation when we go around Korea. Meron po akong separate vlog for this. Pakicheck nyo na lang po doon para ma-explain ko po sa inyo kung ano yung T-Money Card and kung ano po yung mga advantages of having one. So, ayan, you are now ready to explore Seoul, Korea. Kami po, super nag-enjoy. It was our first time, pero ang dali lang ng buhay because we have data and T-Money Card. Very tourist-friendly ang Korea. Maraming mga signages and it's very to go around. Um, very safe naman po siya generally. See you again soon. Check niyo po yung iba ko pa mga vlogs about Seoul, Korea. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this vlog. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload new vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure magugustuhan nyo rin po yung other vlogs ko, yung Ogetsu Hime na eat all you can na Japanese food and yung pong bagong open na Mendokoro Ramen Bar. Ibang concept naman po ito ng pag-serve ng ramen.